house followers today we are going to be playing with some resin um of course i'm using our two-part pour so we do have two options we have one from envirotex and one from color pour now it's just really going to come down to a preference unless you're doing something with food um this one does say that it is food safe um but again it's just it's going to come down to what you would want to do and what your project is so i'm going to go ahead and pull these aside i want to talk about a few other things that you are going to need so first off i want to make sure you're working on a flat surface and that is covered so i am just using a garbage bag here but you can really use a silicone mat or anything else uh, if you are just getting started, I really suggest our color pour toolkit. So that will come with a nice clear um, plastic covering for your surface. It's also going to come with 10 of these little cups, um, which are basically like Dixie cups, but you can reuse these for multiple projects. And then it comes with stir sticks, tweezers, and of course, two pairs of gloves. So gloves are very important. You want to be protecting your hands because this can get very sticky. Um, if you are not wanting or looking at that kit, again, Dixie cups are going to work great or these popsicle sticks work great as well to stir everything up. Um, another thing that you I would recommend you have is some type of measuring cup. So one thing about the two-part pours is it's very important that they are equal parts. And one thing I love about this cup from Envirotex is it has the measurements clearly labeled for you and you can get those equal parts. So one thing I do recommend is having three cups. So I tend to have one that has an R and an H and I measure out both my resin and hardener in two different cups and then I combine them into one. Um, again, keeping my popsicle sticks separate and not interchangeable. So when I'm done using these, I can just wipe it out with a paper towel um, and get it nice and clean and keep using it for future projects. Um, when you are done, I would like to point out you can clearly, you can easily save all your things as usually whatever my stir stick is. I kind of leave it below and I just flip my cup upside down let it drain there as all my projects are hardening and then I can just pull out the resin in the end. Um, another thing I find very important is make sure you are keeping your hair pulled up if you have any long hair. You don't want to get any resin and that you're in a well ventilated area. Resin does have a very strong smell especially if you are using a heat gun which I highly recommend. So this heat gun is going to help pop any of those little pesky bubbles that you get in the resin along with, it's going to help you kind of move your resin a little bit. So, um, I have one from American craft and I love using this when I'm trying to get those waves going. Speaking of waves, I do like to point out, we do have this fun little thing called resi blast. The bottle is a bit spendy, but you guys, the cells this creates is amazing. Um, if you've struggled in getting your waves, this is going to help you a bunch. Um, and all you need is a couple drops in one of these small little Dixie cups, and you can keep using this for multiple, multiple projects. Now, one thing about the resin I do like to point out on the Envirotex ones, if you are going to be using this for other projects and not all in the one day, is this one does have a white cap for your white font, which is your resin. And this has a black cap for your black font. This is awesome because you're not putting the wrong cap on your wrong container and sealing it shut. Um, once that resin and that hardener interact, it, it cures right away. Well, within 24 hours. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pull our project in and go ahead and get started. Um, I am playing with that Envirotex today, so it's gonna be that two part pour. A few other things that I will be using today is I do have some sea glass that I did go ahead and crush up. I have three colors here. I have a marine blue, and then I have a waterfall green, and then I have my white, and these are all acrylic ink, and then I do have this fun glitter from Glitter Guy, 
and this one's called Kevin. Pour my resin and then my hardener in this because it's very important that we're getting equal parts in these pours. And then I pour it all into one cup as I already have here. And then I stir it for about four minutes. You can see I'm not a very, you wanna make sure you're stirring slow and scraping the bottom all away. Um, when you're stirring it, it'll kind of get milky and then it'll finally kind of clear out. Um, I tend to stir it really fast. So you'll see I have a ton of bubbles in here. So since I have everything already prepped, you guys, I'm gonna have, go ahead and get started. So one thing, you wanna make sure that your surface is nice and clean beforehand. Um, I did go ahead and tape it off. You can tape just the back side, but I also like to do my edges. That's just gonna be a preference. And then I wanna make sure on this piece, since we're doing a little geode, I wanna make sure I lay down some clear resin here first. So I'm just gonna kinda make a little home for it. Kind of spread it out. Okay, and now I'm gonna come in with my crushed sea glass. And I'm just gonna cover that up the best I can. All right. I'm just kind of doing a little little circle there, a little half circle. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour some clear right over it. And I'm just going to use my popsicle stick to help me along the way. I want to make sure I'm covering up all those little rocks. Um, I'll probably end up, after everything's done and dried, I'll probably pour one more layer on this just to make sure I get all the sharp edges. Okay. So now that I got that nicely covered, I'm gonna go separate my resin into these three cups here. Oh, actually I need four cups. So I got one. two, three, and then four. This last one is gonna have glitter. And then I wanna make sure I'm leaving some clear behind. So I'm just gonna go ahead, you wanna make sure with these acrylic inks that you shook them before you put in any ink in. And I'm just gonna put a whole um, I'm just going to go ahead and put a whole little squeezy full into my color. I might go ahead and add a little bit more to this one. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little glitter into this last cup. And I'm gonna wait to stir that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir all my colors in. This white one, we're actually gonna end up adding Resi Blast after we get, get everything mixed. You wanna make sure you're scraping at the bottom of your container. You wanna make sure that pigment is getting colored all the way and that you're not leaving any clear behind or any chunks. If this was like a pigment powder, you would really want to make sure there's no chunks behind either. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add that Resi Blast to that white only, and I'm going to do two drops, okay? It's kind of a little spindy bottle, but this guy, what it's going to do is help create those cell, cells and those lacing effects. So. Um, it's really nice, especially if you've been struggling and getting that effect. It's a really easy way. And it lasts you for multiple projects. So now I'm just going to slightly mix that glitter. And 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and start actually with the glitter. I'm gonna go right along the edge here. And then I'm gonna come in with this darker color. And then I'm gonna come in with the white. Again, that has a resi blast in it. So I'm just gonna go right, right along the way. And then this is where you wanna make sure you have clear going through. Now I'm going to come through with my heat gun. Just kind of spread that resin out a little bit. Get that lacing effect going on. All right. Now we're going to continue. And I'm just going layer by layer, nothing fancy here. I'm gonna kind of spread this one out with my spatula stir stick here. Cause I want my kind of rings I'm creating here to get thicker as I go along. I'm gonna come in with that blue that darker blue, that marine blue. Again, I'm just kind of mixing it out with my um, popsicle stick here. You could use your hands if you don't mind getting your hands dirty. I'm gonna come in with a little glitter. And then I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun again. I'm trying to get that white to come on and spread and lace into that clear there. kind of help this darker marine blue along the way. I'm gonna go ahead and do that blue again. And then I'm gonna come in with that white. Go ahead and come in with that clear once more. There's really no rhyme or reason on my coloring, just kind of whatever I'm feeling. So I'm going to spread this lighter color out a bit. And pour the rest of what I got. I have to create a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm going to come in with that heat gun again. Also, while I'm doing this, I'm not staying in one spot. I am moving it. I don't want to overheat my resin. But I'm also going along and I'm getting all my bubbles popped along the way. I'm gonna 
go ahead and come in with some glitter again. Actually, I'm gonna do some glitter up in here. And I don't have to go all the way across with every color. I can just do a little bit at a time. It really comes down to a preference. I'm gonna pour a lot of this guy out. I might have to create a little bit more. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna just make a little bit more color, both this marine and this teal. So we're gonna keep adding some of this darker color. And if I see somewhere that I think might need any other colors, I can easily add them too. Like if I think there needs to be a little bit more white, I can go ahead and add it. bit of glitter in this corner kind of dropped a little bit too much white and let's add a little glitter over here needs a little love come in finish with this teal up here along the edge I guess this isn't teal I keep calling it teal it's gonna be that waterfall green and then anywhere I think just needs a little bit more color like where there's too much clear I can go ahead and just fill in with my leftover resin it's all going to move. That's kind of one thing about resin. You have to remember it's very fluid. So this is all going to move and kind of change while it sets. looking so far you guys I might just add a little bit more glitter right along here a little splash here needs a little bit more glitter over here just really it comes down to your preference right there's no wrong or right answer when creating with resin Let's go ahead and add a bit over here. And then I do have that leftover clear. So I'm gonna just slowly pour it over this corner, really making sure everything gets coated. It is gonna push my color out a little bit as well as it sets. So I might end up having a little bit more clear near the base of this. I might actually mix just a little bit of color because it looks like I'm losing that color of the blue since the background is a, a wood color. Now a way to kind of fix that as well would be to paint your wood. So you could have started out with a white background. It's going to make your colors oops, a lot more vibrant. I like the way that's looking though. 
just adds a little bit of color that I was needing. And then I am going to add some more glitter. And I'm going to actually pour it on the rocks this time. So when that clear starts to spread out, I'm going to have glitter there as well. So again, just putting a little bit right on the edge of the rocks. So as this starts to settle, the rocks in the base will also have glitter because I don't want to lose that glitter around the rocks. It's kind of my sparkly geode center as I kind of envision it. Up here, looks like it's kind of losing its ump for me. So I might go ahead and add just a little bit more blue. Kind of spread that out. And then we're going to come in with that heat gun. Okay, so far you guys, I'm liking the way this looks, but you know, we'll let, we'll let it dry. We'll see what it looks like. Um, again, I'm going to probably let this sit um, for 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer, and we'll be back. All right, you guys, my piece is finished here. It is so beautiful. Um, I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see it a little bit closer. I love how that pearlescent color kind of got blown out into some of the darkers, darker colors, sorry. And look at that glitter. So gorgeous, so fun. And I ended up having, since I had that all that clear resin, I was able to cover this up. So I don't have anything that is um, sharp or not covered in resin, so it's all smooth. So it's all smooth and I don't have to do another layer. Again, I could go ahead and do another layer and that's gonna give it a whole nother dimension because you're gonna see those under colors and tones. But that, again, it's all a preference. I love the way this looks and I'm ready to hang it up on my wall. All right, you guys, thank you for joining and happy crafting.